work quietly and follow along. At any point, click the pause button to catch up or take a break. Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a squish print. A squish print is when we fold our paper in half, paint only on one side, and we fold it like a book and press down, and then when we squish it and we open it back up, whatever paint is on the left side of our picture is copied to the right side. Remember, the key element of art in this sense is a print is a copy. We are copying one thing to the next, to somewhere else. Now the key point about squish printing is it's going to reflect. So if my thumb is on the outside here, it's going to flip and be in the outside when I copy it over here. Today we're going to be making squish print trees and for this you just need a blank piece of blue paper. You're going to want to draw some type horizon line that divides the paper sky from the ground. I did that in my picture and I use crayon to really shade the background and give it some nice um, flow of color in the sky and the ground. We're going to begin making our squish print. So first what you're going to do is you're going to fold your paper in half and because we're making trees it is going to be folded the long way up and down. Make sure you have that crease nice and flat that's going to be handy when we begin to print. There you go. And then when you have it folded, please open it up and lay it flat so we can begin our squish print trees. You should very be able to see your fold line, your crease very clearly. I know in my video it may not be the easiest, but for your paper, you should be able to see it very clearly. That's gonna be one of the key elements of squish printing. Now, since we're making trees, we're gonna begin using paint and when you use paint, don't be afraid to use a lot of it. Um, sometimes you can use too much paint, but since we are transferring and copying paint, you'll see how it's nice to have a little extra. If you would like to watch me for this first step, that would be super. We're gonna begin with the top of our tree and working down towards the bottom. Now, remember, we're only working on the left side. That way, when we squish it, we'll get an exact copy on the right side. So I'm gonna take a little bit of paint. I'm actually gonna take a good amount of paint. And I'm gonna leave a little space from the top of my paper for the top of my tree. And I'm going to slant down. I'm going to go over that again to make sure I have a lot of paint three more times. So one, two, three. Put your paintbrush down. And now here's where that crease comes in handy. We're gonna fold our paper in half and using our knuckles are a really nice way to smooth the paper. Our knuckles are a good way to apply just the right amount of pressure. And notice I'm rubbing right where I applied paint. You don't wanna keep your book closed too long, otherwise the paint will start to dry. So flip it back open and voila! We have created a copy or a print What's on our left side of our page is now exactly on the right, which is gonna give us, as you can imagine, the perfect tree that is symmetrical. Symmetrical means it's the same on both sides of the dividing line. Let's do our next line. It's important when you make a tree and you do squish print that you're doing one section, one line at a time. Otherwise, it'll just be too much to squish and things may look a little messy. So here we go, let's grab a little bit of paint, give a little scoop with your paintbrush. Now for our tree, we're gonna go in just a little bit and stroke it, one, two, three. Make sure you have a good amount of paint in that area. Close it up and knuckle it down with a nice squish and a rub. Rub, rub, rub in that area. It's okay to rub back over where we just did, but you really wanna focus on that area that you just applied paint. Awesome. This is so cool. Let's be observant in the world as artists and look at the texture you are applying. If you look really, really, really close, you can see how the paint kind of peels apart. It leaves little strokes, just like the bristles on the tree. 
pretty amazing. You are doing multiple things at once, artist, more than you know. Let's continue on with our tree. Remember, rule is only applying paint on this side. I know it's gonna be tempting to go on that side, but you can always go back and reapply paint and repeat the squish process if you need more color on the left side. Grab a little paint. From this point of our tree, we're gonna st start where we ended and go back out. This time, make your line a little longer than the first one. One, two, and three, making sure we have a good amount of paint in that line. Fold her up and rub, 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 rub. Don't wanna really press too hard, remember. And this is the best part of printmaking, the exciting process. Woohoo, looking good. Let's continue on. Get a little paint. Remember, we're gonna start where we ended and go directly in with short three strokes. If you need to do a little more, that's okay. Fold her up. Rub, 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 rub. Voila, looking good. Now we wanna focus on bringing our tree out a little wider. So grab a little paint. Now from the point where we ended, I'm gonna go out really far, but not too far. Leave some space between your paint where it ends and the edge of your paper. Otherwise, your paint might go off your paper and it could make a mess. Three strokes or a little more. Fold in half. Rub, 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 rub. Awesome, remember when you squish something, when we apply pressure, the paint is gonna wanna try to find a place to escape if you have too much paint. The only place they can escape is outside the paper. We don't want that. Oh yeah, our tree is coming together. Now we're gonna finish up the tree and I'm gonna grab a little more paint, doing our same steps. I'm gonna do a straight line all the way across, but I'm stopping my line at the fold, making sure I have enough paint because I want it to be perfectly even on both sides. That's one way you'll get a perfect tree, just saying. Here we go, fold it up and rub it down with your knuckles. Awesome. Let's make this tree a little bit more noticeable. We have a really great even and symmetrical outline, but now we're gonna start to fill in the details on the inside of the tree. So with my paintbrush, I'm going to give the layers of the branches and I'm going to apply just a thin one and it can be kind of a squiggly line if you want. Oops, I actually went over. It's going to be hard, it's very tempting. I did that so I could show you, you know, kind of the oopsies that can happen when we paint on the left, oh sorry, the right side. Now my paint, after I rub it down, it will create a nice even line. It's going to smear all over because we are now squishing what was up here and down here. Still okay though. Let's do it again, but this time I'm only gonna apply a little bit up here and a little bit right there. One, two, three, one, two, three. Very good, let's squish it. We are creating an exact copy, which is pretty amazing. It's like you're a human printer. There we go, I got nice, perfect, even dots. Now let's add a little bit more design to our tree. I'm not even gonna clean my brush, I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna mix it and pick up some white paint. That way I have white like snow and kinda get those nice green tones in there as well. Remember, left side, left side. We're now gonna add, and I'm just gonna start to dab up and down. Grab a little more white paint. I'm gonna see how dabbing turns out. It might give us a little bit more texture and the fluff that we want for our snow. That seems like a good amount of paint and I'm only on the left side. Here we go. Ooh, the suspense is killing me. It's like so exciting. Here we go. Oh, awesome. Nice, even tree. Let's add some more white paint to the bottom. We're gonna really finish it up. I'm just gonna dab, 
Remember, only on the left side, young artist, left side. I'm gonna add a little bit more to the top too. Here we go. Fold in half, rub, 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 bottom, and I also applied paint to the top part, so we're gonna go right up there. Here we go. Oh, that is an awesome, beautiful tree. Look at that. Now um, we are going to squish paint the stump of your tree. So what we need is I'm gonna give a little bit of brown paint on my plate. Whoop, there we go. And remember, only to the left side. I'm gonna put some strokes, one, two, three, and just enough so it's like a stump. Rub, rub, rub. I can go back if I want to. There we go. Remember, don't spend too much time rubbing it down. Let the paint do the work. Beautiful. I do want to continue to fill in some of that space inside. So I am going to mix up a nice lighter green, even lighter yet, a little bit warmer. There we go. We want to give good variety of color in our tree. Here we go. I'm going to apply paint just in little dabs on the left side. Here we go. Beautiful. Still going to add a little bit more towards the bottom here. Kind of fill in those spaces. All right. Oh, it's starting to look so cool. I'm going to back and just, I want to add some more darker green. So here's where we can start to really layer the colors. There we go, and I'm just dab, dab, dab. And here we go. So cool. I think this is gonna be my final squish of this picture. That's the thing about printmaking, you just never know how it's gonna turn out. Awesome, not too bad. That is how you squish print a tree. We also talked a little bit about blending and layering colors, but the most important part, remember, about squish print is we are creating a copy, and in squish printing, we are squishing the paint, opening up, so it creates the perfect symmetrical reflection of each side of the paper. This works really well for trees, to get really nice even sides in both height and width and centered on our paper. All right, thank you for watching. Now on our squish print tree, I'm gonna just finger paint some Christmas spirit on our tree. I'm going to be using one finger per color. That way I'm not mixing the colors with my fingers and I'm keeping my work nice and clean and I'm showing self-control. I'm gonna begin with red and my paper is still wet, so we might get a little blending of colors, but that's okay. I want you to think about how the real world is when we have a Christmas tree. Let's say I take a little dab of red and I'm gonna do a fingerprint to show a red ornament. Sometimes when the paint is going to blend, it's gonna look like not a mistake or sloppy, unless you're intentionally doing it sloppy and not using self-control, but rather it's gonna look like the tree branch is coming over the ornament. Kind of like there, it looks like the tree branch is on top of the ornament. So I'm just gonna add a few more in bright red. And now I'm gonna switch my finger, go to my middle finger, and I'm gonna use some orange. There you go. If you run out of paint, it's okay to go back to your palette and pick up some more. Now I'm gonna go down to this finger and use yellow. It's okay if it doesn't show up all the way. That's the beauty of finger painting. It really blends in 
and it'll look really pretty magical. I'm going to now go to my pinky finger and use blue. Oh, this looks so cool. You can always go back over some dots too, if you really want to clean them up. There we go. And I have one last finger, that is my thumb. I'm going to then carefully dip it in purple. Finger painting with your thumb is a little bit different experience. It takes a different kind of control. And you also get a different shape, as you notice, than if you use your pinky or if you use your pointer finger. There we go. That's how I decorated my Christmas tree. I'm gonna go back. I'm going to try to add a star to the top. But I'm gonna, this is a challenge because I only can use my ring finger. I'm just going to try to add a little bit more of a tip to the tree too. It may not look like a perfect star, but that's okay. That's the beauty of finger painting. It's always a challenge and it's super fun. Awesome job. Thank you for watching.